Welcome, creative people. Oh, the mic's really loud. Great. So I don't have to project too much. I was worried about that. Okay. Um, yeah, so I mean, speaking on mystery is, is something very intriguing. And I was, I was surprised that um, you, guys, you guys wanted to have me. I feel like you guys are like all my friends here. So I want to just like share with you maybe things about my life and um, some ideas that have been going around my head for you know, ever since I was a child. Um, so I'm getting, I'm getting a little like, I'm getting a little nervous, but just like bear with me. I'll like ease into it. So uh, yeah, I mean, I think the biggest mystery of of life and at least what I think is probably like where I fit, you know, where we fit um, together in this, in this like puzzle of life. And um, it's, it's confusing sometimes and sometimes you maybe you don't know what to do or you're like going to creative mornings and you're like, I wonder what this guy has to say. And uh, it's, it's different. And so, I mean, I don't know, I think it's very important to, like right now, like what I'm feeling is like stepping out of your comfort zone. Um, it's very hard to do, but I, I've tend, I tend to make a habit of it. And I, I constantly feel myself um, feeling very uncomfortable to the point that it's, I don't feel comfortable unless I feel uncomfortable and I'm not sure what's gonna happen and, and I always hope for the best. And I think like as long as you're putting yourself out there and you're doing something that you feel passionate about and it, it doesn't matter what it is, it could be literally anything, like, um, you know, like anything, just if you like feel a little uncomfortable about it and you're not sure if people are gonna receive it, that's probably the right thing to do. So, like, so I want to touch a little bit about um, my thought process on, um, a lot of you have probably seen these murals I do. If you don't, if you don't know me, you're just coming here, I do a lot of murals around town and I, I do a lot of uh, different designs. Um, I, I conceptualize like, literally like how everything could be, like maybe it's more artsy or like it could look better, or be more fun, so. Um, this concept I had was, was uh, making your world a painting. And what I mean by that is, um, like every scene that you see is, is like your own personal view of the world and it's, it's a painting to you. So um, real quick, could everyone just close their eyes for me? And like everybody, really just close your eyes. And, and think, imagine real quick that you're in a museum and you see all these pictures on the wall and you're, you're just in a large museum. There's all these paintings everywhere. Can you close your eyes and imagine this? And so now before you open your eyes, I, I want you to imagine when you come back and you, and you open your eyes again that you're still looking at a painting. And I want you to go ahead and do that now and open your eyes and See this, there's a painting right here in front of you. And that's, every time you open your eyes now, you can see this painting. And it, as you go out into the world, there's gonna be many, many paintings and it's all open to your own interpretation. And you may see something that you feel doesn't fit this painting. And maybe you could change that. And maybe you could make it more beautiful or more like presentable for everyone. And so, that was like my main concept and it's like, um, it, and it goes from person to person and like, um, from like your family and your loved ones and you look at them and do you see this beautiful painting and do you like realize like how beautiful each one of them are and um, so now, the next time like I, you do see like someone you love or your friend or even the person next to you right now, if you could like look at the person next to you and see this like 
this beautiful painting. And just like, I don't know, do you, do you get what I'm saying? Like how even like, yeah, so like just like appreciate like everything that's in front of you. And like don't, don't, don't take such like these mundane tasks like your day-to-day -day like commutes or like even as far as like I was like putting my toothpaste on my toothbrush and like how even that action in itself can be that could be this like beautiful painting where you take your time and you and you respect every decision you make for yourself and then you just start to respect yourself more and so like even like tying your shoe it doesn't matter like it could just be done with with a mindfulness and a and thought and it, it could just be like a beautiful thing so like imagine if now everything you do in your life is like that and everything you see is is more creative now and so like that's really how i look at the world so as like i'm driving down the street i would see like these buildings and they're like they're just so like bland and they're they're blank so i wanted i wanted to like paint them and like make something beautiful because the building itself wasn't a piece to me i mean someone did design it and maybe the, there are great buildings that are very sculptural you know as and but there's some that aren't and there's some that they feel very mundane like someone just built it to house uh, some random job and they didn't they didn't put that extra thought into it so that's where like a lot of artists like in St. Pete will they'll go around and they paint these buildings and around the world and they make them they make them these art pieces so I mean that's really like what I'm getting at so um, so a few questions I, have, I, I wanted to ask. So is your city a painting? And we could definitely say yeah. So we live in a very creative city. We're, we're very fortunate for that. Um, but as, a, as an overall scene, as you drive through your city, there, there may be like litter or trash that why not just like pick it up and make that scene more beautiful and like just to do that for everybody because like when the artists go out and they paint these buildings a lot of the times they may not be getting paid for them so like what are they really doing it for like why do we want to paint these buildings it's just to to beautify the area for everybody and so like if everyone was doing that in their own way maybe you, you don't want to paint a building maybe you just want to like clean the street or hire someone to paint your building and make that more beautiful, like, that'd be great, yeah. So, and, and that goes as far as, as everything that you have. Like, like people are painting their cars. Um, maybe they're, they are designing their buildings more mindfully. They're, they're, they're dressing different. They're designing clothes. Like, that was a, another thing. Like, I, I wanted to design clothes because um, a lot of like my button-up shirts were they were very plain, and I was like, what if I could just express myself through my clothes as well, and maybe give other people a chance to do that? And so um, I don't know. So like, I really like to like look at everything like that, like my like yeah, clothing, um, my furniture, like all of it could just be like a, a sculpture and a, and a piece, like even this mug, like I. I someone got this for me and I was like look at that it's just like it's a sculpture like it's just like so beautiful and you can't you can't drink from it from the nipple but you can still drink out it's still it's great it's functional you know that's what I'm getting at it's functional art so so now I, I want to encourage so now I'm going to encourage you to Look, look even past like your loved ones and your friends now to like, look at a lot of you probably have dogs or animals and are you looking at them the same way that you would you would look at your friends like do you do you see these paintings in your animals like are you are you treating them the same way that you would treat a loved one or like are you feeding them like mushed together like hard pellets of food and like, like would you treat your friends like that? Like, that's crazy. Like, that's why I don't have any animals personally. Like, I don't, 
because I wouldn't like bring them everywhere and like treat them like a, a human. Like you say, you should treat them like. And the same thing goes with like plants. Like, do you just like cut down like whatever? Or do you like look at that plant and recognize that that beauty there and that there that is a painting itself? Like every single plant is just like it's magic. The that life that is created and like and even as far as mindlessly like killing animals too. It's like. Um, one of my friends said one time, because I, I told him, it was a few years back, my friend uh, John Teramina, I said, um, I mean, I, I, was, I was not doing so good when I first moved here, like when I was trying to like follow my dreams, it, it, wasn't, it wasn't awesome, like it was really hard, and it, I was like questioning everything I did, because like people weren't just like throwing money at me to do this stuff, I was like, I was hungry, like I couldn't eat. I lived in this place that had roaches and like I couldn't, I couldn't kill them. And I was like, fuck, like get out of my place. Like, but like I couldn't, like so I was just like scooping them and like trying to throw them outside. And I was telling John, I was like, why can't I just like kill them? Like I see people do it all the time. And he's like, no, like I've thought of this the same way. He's like, uh, cause when you kill something, it's like, it was like this life is no longer exists there that that was there and that was so profound to me when he said that because I couldn't you know until I had I have two babies now like but before that I couldn't imagine like creating a life like I didn't I didn't it was so far beyond me and I was like that's why I, I can't kill this stuff is because I I couldn't create it so like it's it was a little you know it was, it was beyond me like I yeah so um, so now I want to I want to touch on a little bit too. Um, so like yeah, so I touched on like you know your surroundings and your friends and your the animals and the plants, and and now I want you to think about like the the whole world together. So we have this this giant planet, and it's just like one big art piece and it's one large painting and. It'd be great if everyone respected it all together. And if, you know, because you go outside and you see all these things, they're working in this great harmony together. Um, the people are commuting throughout the city, there's birds everywhere, the animals are finding their homes amongst buildings, God bless them. <laughs> and so, I mean, like, really think about that. And, like, when you go out into the world from here on out, when you step out the doors, I want you to no longer see things that were there before. I want you to look at it in a brand new light. And I want you to see um, this like beautiful picture everywhere you look. And, and if there's something not beautiful about it and you don't want to look at it, maybe you could do something to change it. And like, wouldn't that be amazing if like everyone was like working really hard to just like make everything great for everyone? Like, wouldn't that be awesome? Do you guys do that? Do you, do you go out and you, you, you try to change things for the better? Or are you like kind of living in between that right now? And I hope you will change that a little bit. Yeah, so. Right? Like, <laughs> that'd be, yeah. So, um, so, maybe I'll tell you a little bit about what and I can't really tell you what it is, but like what maybe gave me the courage to go do these things. Um, you guys want to hear that? Would that be okay? So, like I said, I was looking at these buildings and like I was seeing all these things, and I was looking at clothing. I I thought I was like, yeah, you have to wear it, and people are like, it's just clothes. But yeah, like everything is just something. Like you could say that about anything. You could say it's just a building. It's just your hat. And yeah, it's just clothes, but it's also like this amazing chance to express something. So I, I came up with all these clothing designs and I was like, I want to do this really conceptual lookbook where I show people like my clothes without showing them my clothes. So I'll, I'll paint these images on buildings and just take pictures of the buildings. So I started doing that. Um, and a great supporter of mine was Kimberly Hendricks. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her or met her. 
Um, she was a fashion designer in St. Petersburg, and she passed away a few years ago. So um, she was like a huge inspiration. And I, I met her, and she was like, you just need to like do this lookbook, and I'll, I'll help you. You can like paint anything I have. So she had a building that uh, is now Zazut. It was her space. So she said I could paint her rooftop. So I was like, oh my god, that's amazing. So like, I was out there with my friend Elijah, and, and we had just like gallons and gallons of paint. And we were like rolling out this 4,000 square foot rooftop. And um, so then, they, so I started shooting the lookbook. And then this guy, um, this guy called me, uh, Gary, and he's like, I'm opening up this storefront. Uh, this guy told me you're doing this rooftop painting. I saw it, it was really cool. I wanted to see if you could come paint my building. And that was this place called Freshly Squeezed. So um, it's now engine number nine, and it's a, it's a black corner um, on Central. So I painted this spot, and I, I feel like um, that was like this moment where I like truly felt like I was like doing what I was supposed to be doing. and. But like going into that, I was like so scared and like nervous and like I, I didn't have any money. I didn't have like, I didn't really have any friends around. And I, I was just like, what if people don't like this? Like, what if, what if I do it and like the painting sucks? Like, what if I go out there and like I do all this work and like I still go home broke that night? And, and I did, I, I did the painting. I still went home broke but people liked it and they, they liked it enough to where it gave me a little hope and I was like, I could just, I could keep painting stuff and I could keep designing stuff and then, and then people sort of like give me this great response and then like eventually people were like started paying me to do it and that, it was like this crazy moment where like you just want to do something and someone pays you to do it. It's like the most beautiful feeling like it feels like a dream, like, it feels like a dream right now, like, this doesn't even feel real, like, I mean, in my head, like, in my head, I'm still, like, everything I do, like, every piece, it, it feels like this, like, I'm, like, venturing into the unknown, and, like, and I'm, I'm awake at night, and I'm doing a painting, and I, I stay up all night, and I'm staring into this void, and I, I don't know if the next painting I do, or the next design I do, if, if someone will like it, and, and then, that's, that's what you have to do. That's like where you have to be. And like, that's how you know you're doing something right, I guess, is like, you'll, you won't know if anyone will like what you're doing, but you just have to try it. Because if you don't try it, then you're just gonna be doing something you don't like and you're, you're not gonna be happy and you're not gonna see this painting in front of you. So like, um, that's like what I really wanna stress is, is just stepping out of your comfort zone and like really like, just like not, not knowing. You, you're not supposed to know. You can't know. Like, you'll, you'll never know for sure if anything you do is going to work. I mean, at all in life. So, like, but like if you put your heart into it and you, and you feel it's something you should do, just go for it. Like, please, like, go for it. And like, and try to like be mindful of like everyone that's going to like, feel that and you want them to, to, to be inspired by you and, and you want to like I, I'm looking for for you guys to inspire me so if I see you out and like I want to see like things that, that you're doing and, and maybe after this talk you can you can show me like projects you're working on and maybe like we can collaborate and like and then I think that'd be great if we just all like shared shared everything we did together I mean so so like, um, um, one, one thing I want to stress too is every, everything you make, every painting you see, every sculpture you see, every design you've ever seen, um, anything that was a little extra you've seen that someone put their heart into, that shit is a miracle. <laughs> like, it, it, couldn't, it couldn't be any better than that. Like, whatever, you, whatever you're looking at, you have to be able to appreciate it. Anything that someone's made, even if you think it's ugly, or you, you don't agree with the design of it, you have to think that it's someone out there, they put that, 
this peace in the world because they thought it could change the world, and it, it did. And so you just appreciate it. Like, look at, look at it in a new way. Everything you don't like, every art that you hate, re-examine re it and just realize that someone put their heart into that and like someone made that for a reason. And it, it wasn't so you could hate it, most likely. Maybe it was. <laughs> Some people make stuff for you to hate, but there's the beauty in that too because there's an emotion there that came out of you. So if it provoked any emotion at all, just enjoy it in some way. And if, if, it, if it didn't provoke any emotion and it, it didn't affect you, that's okay. You don't, you don't have to like revisit something you forgot about. It doesn't make sense. Like just like, just appreciate, just appreciate everything and, and really like, and just step out, step out into the world from here. See, see this new world as a painting and realize that it's, every painting is a miracle. And like, if you guys could just, if you guys would do that, that'd be great. And if you did that, it would, it would, it would make me feel great that I, I told you, you know, to do it. So like, <laughs> because I didn't really know what to talk about. Like there's just this mystery theme and I was like, what? Like everything's such a mystery to me. Like everything I look at. So like, I don't know. Do you guys have any like questions about any of this or like, do, we, do, you, do you want to talk about any of this stuff? My name is Sarah Page. Um, hi, Sarah. Hi. I think that I probably speak for a lot of us in here as a person who lives in St. Pete, that you have personally created so much mystery in our city by your beautiful artwork. And right. it's really inspiring Thanks. to me to know that you came from somewhere to get to the place that you are now. And it's surprising that you would ever feel insecurity, but it's also inspiring to know that like, even if we feel insecure as an artist, yeah. that there is hope, <laughs> you know, that yeah. there's something out there. And I there just is. wanted to say thank you for keeping, yeah. for still going and doing what you've done because yeah. our Thanks. city is better because of it. Thank so, you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, you, you should totally feel insecure all the time. <laughs> like, you should, like, because, like, if you're not, you're, you're probably in this, like, safe comfort zone area. Like, get out of there. Like, don't feel that. Like, I don't know. Like, like I said, like, every, like, literally every piece, I, like, I, I go back to, like, square one every time. It's, like, my first painting again or, like, my first piece I'm going to present to people. And, like, I go so, like, I don't know, like, if you guys think that's crazy, but, like, I, I feel like, I don't even know if anyone's gonna like anything I do ever. So, like, every next piece, like, even though there's all these people that, like, like my work and you're saying this and it's great, I thank you so much for that, that I still, I'm always gonna just, like, wonder, like, if people are gonna, like, feel it, you know? So, if you feel like that, that's, that's fine, because, like, I feel like that. <laughs> like, Jeff. Hey, I'm Jeff. Hey, Jeff. The freshly squeezed mural uh, okay. is kind of like the, the spark of the whole mural craze in the city. And you know, I think Thanks. everyone I talked to loved it, and everyone I talked to was pretty bummed when it was disappeared. But uh, do you look at that as, you know, street art is not permanent? Street art, that's a good, or do you, that's a good question. Or do you, or do you, do you want it to be permanent? I mean, what, what? How, how were you feeling when, when it became a black canvas? Yeah, how did I feel? Um, I mean, how do you feel like when you lose a loved one? <laughs> like, that's most, you know, like, I wouldn't say most people, a lot of artists probably don't feel like that, that do murals that, because maybe they don't do it, like they don't have the same process as me. So my process is a little different. Um, I, I hand draw all, all, my, all my murals, I, I draw in my sketchbook, and I, I really, I just, sometimes I don't even draw it, I just draw it right on the wall sometimes, it's like right out of my head, I'll just make something up, and you know, I don't use projectors, or I don't use you know, computers, I don't use like anything extra, I like to keep it very, very raw. So, um, I hand mix you know, almost all my color, if it's not spray paint, um, and I, I really like treat the wall like it's this, like it's a musical, and like it's this, 
like this whole like symphony and it's a song and like I I become like one with it and in that moment I'm like I become like I have all these emotions and like there's like I'm happy and I'm like nervous and I'm scared and like you know I'm, I'm hoping that it just brings all this joy to people so yeah like if you know my my paintings go away like it's okay like I don't like cry over it I'm not like you know terribly like like I don't like hate anybody or anything but it, if it goes away it still is like this piece of me that I like really I really like took this time and like put out there so like and I, I'm very aware that people are gonna see it and like there it's it's so available it's everyone can just like judge it and like you know and that's going through my head and like you shouldn't care what other people think but you want people to be like feel good about like what you do so you know then to like have someone like cover your work and like you know it just feels like disrespectful sometimes but you know other times you also have to respect you know you have to respect them and like their their own art form and like like I was saying earlier like if it's something you don't like you have to take take a step back and take a deep breath and and realize that like that was their expression as well so you know you have to be happy about it. that someone else got to express themselves on something as well I wanted to thank you for mentioning the part about when you start new work, you always feel like you're doing something new, like you're starting over again, yeah. like you're at the beginning phase. Um, because I feel like when I create stuff at work, I always feel like I want to do something new, something better, and add to it. And I always have this feeling like I'm just getting started again, and I'm a yeah. beginner, and I don't know anything. Um, and I become, you know, really uncomfortable and I don't know if people are gonna, the client this time will like this right. work or if I'm yeah. adding extra stuff in the right direction. Um, so it's definitely like a feeling that I share and have um, yeah. all the time as well and it's good to know that other people have it. Yeah. Um, and definitely uncomfortable moments that I have been in have made me grow so much yeah. and moments that I've been most, I felt most rewarding. But it's really scary to, enter those moments or have those moments so I didn't know if you had any kind of tips or things that you tell yourself when you're kind of really uncomfortable or scared even or kind of not sure if you want to begin something new if there's things that you remind yourself of like why you continue to do it right why you continue to do it yeah or yeah like why why become so uncomfortable like why do it again this time kind of. right why do it again um, that's just like a personal preference. It's like, because you don't have to do anything ever <laughs> at all. So to do anything is like, a, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I keep using this word as a miracle, like just to, just to do anything really, like extra outside of just keeping yourself alive. So, I mean, like your question is, is, is like, why why keep doing things that make you feel uncomfortable or like what is it yeah if i'm really unsure about a project um i don't i don't really try to i don't i don't think about i don't think about it like that i don't i don't try to think so even like it sounds silly but like even like making this head i didn't even really know what i was going to do i did like a rough sketch I just started like making it. And so like don't don't think too much about anything because you're you're taking away this like instinct and you're overthinking it and it's going to change the outcome. So don't don't like don't like do something and then like change it. Like just do the first thing that you're going to do and stick with it and like go into it like full force. Like like a baby learning how to walk, like just like run and like if you're like falling like it's all right, you're a baby, you have a big head. <laughs> it's okay, like, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's just gotta be like, there's gotta be like a little something extra in you that to like want to share something with people. So, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know, quite know what that is. Like, I can't really explain it. I figured like everyone who's here probably has that. So, I just like, I want you guys to like, to take that and like share, share this with people, whatever it is that, that you want to do. And if you don't know what that is yet, just start, start with, start with this like little, little seed packet and like, 
start with like one little beautiful thing and, and share that with people. Thank you guys.